Hey, it's Jeff here. Welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. Checking out a new nano brewery here in New Hampshire. It's called the Long Blue Cat Brewery. Uh, just opened really recently. That's uh, on the north end of Londonderry, New Hampshire, off busy Route 28. It's literally probably a stone's throw from the Manchester town line or city line and not far from the airport. So I'm going to go check out a flight on this new brewery. Well, there's some classic rock music playing in the background, so I guess I'll have to watch out for copyright violations. I don't own any of the music that you might hear in the background of this video. But here I am at the Long Blue Cat Brewing Company in Londonderry, New Hampshire. They got their name uh, based on a drawing by one of their kids, and they actually have that drawing on the wall. Looks like it was done with magic marker, or a big piece of paper. So um, that's how they got their name. And here is the flight. Take a look at the flight that I picked up. So this tells you, uh, this gives you an idea of what I'm going to try out today. This one is the COS uh, Dark Chocolate Oatmeal Stout. This one is the uh, uh, Radio Face Double IPA, 10% alcohol by volume. It's interesting, if you look under these glasses, they tell you what you're drinking. This is the Latch Key IPA, 7.2% alcohol by volume, a New England style IPA. This one here is the... Uh, Black Arts IPA, and it's uh, 7.25 ABV. 7. Point, yes, 7.2 uh, ABV. I'm sorry. Finally, this one is not marked, but I know what it is. Uh, this is their Honey Ale, and it is 5.5% alcohol by volume. So, I'll be checking these out. Okay, time to check out my first review. This is the Honey Ale. It's 5.5% alcohol by volume. You can see the uh, moderately clear amber pour. Uh, it does have, I already took a sip as you can tell, but definitely has a real floral and, and uh, honey sensation sweetness. They use some blossoms as well as honey in this. And the blossoms come from Hampstead, New Hampshire, southern part of the state. Taste does have a nice sweetness. Body has a light to a light uh, and refreshing sort of crisp finish with a mild bitterness at the end. So it's actually not a bad little refreshing beer. Okay, I ordered something really light for my lunch today. It's actually more of a dip. This is an artichoke and spinach dip with all kinds of veggies to uh, and some bread uh, to uh, dip into it and a, a light way to enjoy the day plus drink the beer. This one is the Black Arts IPA, 7.2% alcohol by volume. Look how near jet black the color is of the pour. It's really stout in color. Aroma. I am picking up a hop sensation, not as much as I thought I might, because the description says black IPA with plenty of hops. But the hops are kind of earthy, maybe a bit uh, floral, maybe a bit piney. Taste. Uh, I'm picking up more on the flavor. It's like a chocolate character here as well. Kind of a little chocolate, uh, dark chocolate character uh, that evolves into a semi bitter. A uh, hot finish. This one is the Latchkey IPA. They describe it as a New England style IPA. 7.2% alcohol by volume. I wouldn't call it as hazy and cloudy and juicy as your typical New England style IPA. It has a bit of a haze, but it's not that really pulpy looking, almost opaque. I can actually kind of see through it. Aroma. Well, you are getting plenty of the grapefruit and pineapple characters that you expect in the style. Very, very tropical fruit. Very, very citrusy. Tasty. Same thing, uh, the citrus and, and tropical fruit characters kick in and the flavor too. Uh, uh, sort of a moderate bready sensation, which is kind of balanced out. Bitterness is not really big. It's a low to, probably low to moderate bitterness on uh, the flavor, but definitely you get a good fruit character, typical for the style. They let people bring pets in here. A couple of dogs enjoying today. I guess I'll do the double IPA, radio face double IPA, 10% alcohol by volume. I need a moderately dark uh, amber kind of pour for the tan head. And you are picking up a really good uh, citrus character on the nose. Uh, fruit floral, pine and citrus. I'd say pine and 
citrus mainly, but definitely has a good pop note to speak about. Taste. Got a good bitterness at the end, so it's very sweet. The sweetness really kind of seems to be more um, prominent to me than the hot character is for a double IPA. 10% alcohol by volume, I'm not picking up any booze. It's kind of a barley grain sweetness, almost like a barley wine with a hop character to it, which I think is kind of interesting. So I kind of like this one. It's not bad. That'll do it for my visit to the Long Blue Cat Brewing Company of Londonderry, New Hampshire. And uh, when I got here, I was one of the only people in the entire place. 90 minutes later, the place was hopping. Just about every table was taken. You saw me review a couple of beers. Uh, they all seemed pretty good to me. The beers I tried uh, all seemed right on target and uh, very interesting. So uh, I liked the place. The food I had, it was just really just kind of an appetizer, a fruit and flavor, fruit and veggie uh, appetizer with uh, artichoke dressing, uh, which I really quite liked a lot. It was perfect for me considering I can't eat a lot of salts and sugars. So it was uh, pretty perfect for me. So nice place. I really wish them all the best. So thanks for stopping by. Catch you again next time.